Atlanta Board of Education requesting teachers be moved to the front of the vaccination line, but the state's Republican governor is saying while teachers are a priority, for now, they'll have to wait. How come? Well, Brian Kemp joins us now with the answer. Governor, thanks for joining us. Um, just uh, what is the answer? I, apparently, obviously, you must have stated it before, but for the audience who are not aware of this, it's a major Donnybrook in your state. What are you telling these teachers? Well, I, I wouldn't uh, necessarily agree with you about a major Donnybrook in the state. I mean, look, we'd love to be vaccinating teachers right now. We need more supply from the federal government. Um, we're thankful for the little bit of good news we got over the last seven days to get some more vaccine. But we have two million seniors uh, that and first responders and other folks that meet the current qualifications here in Georgia. So we still have a long way to go to get those vaccinated. Obviously, if there's 65 year old individuals that are in our school systems, they're eligible to get vaccinated vaccinated now. And we'd love to do teachers, but we're really following the data and the science and trying to protect the most vulnerable to the virus. And that's what Dr. Toomey, right. uh, that's the advice that she's given me as well. Well, with all due respect, I, I see that's what you call phase 1A plus, the 2 million folks, 1.3 million are seniors. But the teachers are saying, hey, you know, we're nervous. We're, 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 we're very anxious. And, and th there is a big fuss, particularly after this apparent raid in Elbert County, uh, where uh, 470 shots were confiscated from a medical center that have been giving them out to teachers. So it, 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 there's, there's something going on in your state uh, with respect to the teachers. Why, well, why do you, don't well, you believe they are accepting in your, your answer to, to why they have to wait in line? Well, there, there is certainly something going on in Georgia, Charles. We've had teachers and students in person in the classroom since August and the first part of September in all parts of our state. So the data says that that's a safe place to be if you do it the right way. We've supported our schools in doing that. We've given out 8.3 million pieces of PPE. We've gained, gained, uh, given out cleaning supplies and other things to help our schools safely reopen. Uh, but we left it up to them, with complete local control. So there's a lot of teachers that have been in the classroom for months and months now, much like we did our reopening plan in Georgia. We followed the guidance. We followed the data. We put in right. uh, good regulations to be able to do that. And it's worked for our economy. It's working for our schools. What about the caregivers for the elderly? Where do they fall in? Are they in this 1A or the 1B part of this program? Well, certainly, you know, the, the caregivers in nursing homes, skilled nursing facilities, long-term care facilities and other places, they're, they're being taken care of through Operation Warp Speed. It is a little bit disappointing. Yeah, I'm just saying the, I'm taking care of my grandmother. Someone's taking care of their grandmother. What is that? Where do they fall in the, in the process? Well, care, caregivers and those are eligible in that process. Look, we want to expand. I would love to do that now, but we got to have more vaccine to do that. We're running 10 points above the national average for doses given. Hopefully, we'll be able to expand soon when we get Johnson & Johnson on board. Uh, because, look, that, that's what we want to do. We want to get everybody vaccinated. But we're following the guidance and the public health data right now. I mean, the concern for me, Charles, is making sure that we have a hospital bed for everyone in right. this state that has a COVID situation or non-COVID. And we know that 65-year-olds are more adversely affected by COVID than those that are, you know, 45 or 50 or the teaching age. It's not right. that I don't want to do it, but we're really following the, the advice of public health officials. Governor Kemp, appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.